Remember how clicking through to uh, these movies takes about 80, 90 milliseconds in production here? Uh, we have prefetching, so you don't feel it as much, but still, this um, we're waiting 100 milliseconds for this to come back. So there's still a chance that the user is clicking very quickly before this thing uh, has finished prefetching, and it can slow down uh, the UI a little bit. So in addition to prefetching, or as a totally separate uh, way of making things faster, we can take advantage of uh, cache control. It's a, it's a part of the HTTP protocol. Uh, I just said protocol twice, right? HTTP protocol. <laughs> um, maybe that's easier to say than HTTP. HTT protocol. Anyway, um, we're going to use some cache control so that this doesn't actually have to hit the database, right? So this is, this is even, even though we're prefetching and it's quick for our user, our database is getting hit every single time that we click on one of these links. And if we got a million people visiting our site and they're all clicking on these same links, we're hitting, we're hitting the database every single time. So here's my code right here. This is my loader for the movie page. I'm saying, hey, go select movies where the ID is whatever for my params and then return it. So every click is calling my database. So maybe I want to try to save some database resources uh, or maybe I just want to make this faster for everybody, but we can use a little bit of cache control here. So I'm going to bring in JSON from Remix uh, Run. You can get it from React. You can get it from any of the packages. You can get it from uh, Cloudflare as well. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm going to just get it from React. And then I can say JSON. Let me get over to my... Um, local one and then the second argument th th if you don't if you don't return json out of your loaders remix is essentially wrapping it in a json so it serializes it um so now i'm going to switch this up and i'm going to say all right here's my headers oh it already knows what i want yep sure um so this is cache control for 3600 seconds so what is that 3600 divided by 60 it's a minute. I should know that. No, I don't care. I'm so, I'm so bad at math. So, five minutes. Sixty times five. I'm gonna do that. Just kidding. I don't even know how long. Oh, this is embarrassing. Um, just so much pressure right now. How many minutes is thirty-six hundred seconds? 60 minutes, an hour. All right, we're caching this for an hour. Oof. Sure, why not? Um, so now, if we come over here, check this out. I can click on noose. That first time it loaded it, took 19 milliseconds. This is local, so it's crazy fast. And now if I click on it again, or just hover it, right? Notice that it comes from the disk cache. It's hard to read that. All right, just believe me, disk cache. So it came from the disk cache because last time we did this, here, I'll click on a different one. Oh, yikes, Tar Tarzan and the Leopard Woman. <laughs> uh, this JSON thing right here, look at this. In the response headers, we said cache control, max age 3600 public. We said cache this for an hour. So the browser itself has a cache that uh, it's gonna put these, these JSON responses into. And so not only do we get it from the prefetch cache when we move forward, but now when we hover this and do our prefetch from before, it's coming from just the disk cache. Maybe the prefetch is making this a little bit um, less obvious what's going on. So let me, let me get rid of our prefetch intent here and stop prefetching. And then I hover this. So now we're still prefetching that image too. And that makes it seem confusing as well. So let's just, let's not do either of those things. Okay. There's no more, no more prefetching. Let's, let's make this thing super clear. What's going on. I hover, join Marines, nothing happens. All right. Now I click on it. Uh, our server responds and says, hey, browser, you can cache this for an hour. 
And so now if I click back and then I click into it again, it comes from the disk cache because the browser has it cached. So not only does the browser uh, support cache control, but CDNs can too. And so you can add this cache control header and then anyone else who makes a request for that same resource, it could be cached at the edge on your CDN, whether it's Cloudflare or Fastly or Vercel's CDN or CloudFront, um, all of them. And then all of your users will share those documents. So there are some good use cases for it. It's not a, it's not a catch all of like how to make your website fast, but it's another way uh, to speed up data loading in uh, any web app. And in Remix, this is where you do it inside of the, the loaders with the JSON helper.